Z. Z. Y. Y. W. W. O. O. M. M. B. B. Podcast. Podcast. I'm Shan. I'm Anya. Say Ari. Ari. <laughs> Welcome to Cozy Womb Podcast. Let's go. Hey, this is Shan, Mom of the Girls. Thank you for checking in. If this is your first time at Cozy Womb Podcast, welcome. It's a very random but frequently posted show. Enjoy what you can when you can. It's for new parents. Y'all are very welcome. It's for a second, third, or more time around parents too. And I did not forget those of you who aren't quite there yet, haven't had your first kid, but you're thinking about it and you're just curious on what it takes to go ahead and survive the kids that you may make. Cool. Since we're all here, let's get into today's episode. Having kids is, uh, at first, is super scary, right? And then you start figuring out your way of being a mom. And uh, you start developing your own relationship with a child that you helped create, that you carried for nine months, that you uh, fed and nurtured and now... The baby is physically outside of your body and you have to continue those things. But a lot of people, you know, have an idea about what it feels like to carry a child, right? And then you have your ideas about what it feels like to raise a child. But I don't think there's enough emphasis put on what your children make you feel, okay? And that's what I wanted to focus on now. So, my children make me feel at home. So, you know, like, when you go to visit family that you really love and care about and you haven't seen in a few years and you surprise them and you remember different areas of the house, my kids make me feel like that whenever they're around. So, now I understand why my mom always wanted her kids around and she wanted to be around kids because they made her feel just like at peace and my children give me peace my children make me feel rich it makes me feel like even if something happens to me and I leave this earth I'm still here two times because I have two kids and I want them to be better than me I want them to go further than I've gone uh, find out things that I didn't get to find out and I think everybody should want better for their kids but for me I want them to push really hard I want them to push the envelope on life my kids make me feel safe like when I'm in a room by myself in the house I'm just like oh let me go see what they're doing and I might immerse myself into the room so like right now I'm at the table and I'm writing but they're in their rooms I would feel more comfortable if they were out here sitting on the couch sleeping or whatever but I'm gonna let them be in their bed sometimes if you know it's their bedtime and I want to spend time with them still I'll read them a story and if I still want to spend more time with them I'll read them a second story and It's just so funny how you go from, oh, I have these kids too. Oh my God, they're my kids. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see them. And you kind of put on this facade like, oh, I'm here to pick them up and take them home. And ah, so boring. But it's really not. Like, I'm really excited about what they found fascinating in their day. And when I see them, it's like everything else shuts off. Um, Work shuts off. Things I need to do shuts off. What's up? Like, I'm really into my kids. Like, what's up? Like, what's good? Like, you happy? What you happy about? My kids bring me joy, and I love, I love feeling joy. Um, They make me feel curious on trying new things and doing things different, differently. Um, They make me optimistic about what can possibly happen because I know um, 
I push myself more to be outdoors with them because I think it's very important for them to be outdoors and see things and ask questions and me be there to answer and give them the right answer. Um, My children make me feel a completely new level of being a woman. So a lot of people may say, oh, having a child doesn't make you more of a woman. It doesn't, and it does. So, before I had kids, it was kind of like, okay, I can do this because this is what women do. I have this because this is what women look like. But I've never felt what it felt like to carry a child until I carry my first child. I never felt what it felt like to give birth until I gave birth to my first child. And before you give birth, in your mind... Your mind tells you, you cannot do it. There's no way a whole human being is coming out of you. There's no way you're about to push out a whole human. Like, no. You're going to be pregnant and magically this baby is about to appear. But that's not really how it works. You have to put in the work and push this baby out. Unless you have a C-section. God bless you. But the whole time I was pushing and in labor... In the back of my mind, I'm just like, this is not about to happen. Y'all going to have to figure out another way to get this baby. Get the vacuum. Get the fairy dust. Figure out another way. And when she came out, it was just like instant relief. It was like all the pain went away. And I told them to clean her up. And they brought her back to me. And I'm, I was just looking at her like, wow. Wow, I did that. Wow, I'm a mom wow this is it and every time I kept looking at her it was more of a wow more of a wow even today she's five years old and it's more of a wow because things are clicking for her you know what I'm saying she's learning things she's having her own opinion uh she has her own style of what she likes how she likes it she's very intuitive um she's very observant and I love all of it. I love all of it. Um, My children make me feel wanted. So if no one in society wants you or no one is like looking for, looking for Chantal, I'm looking for Chantal. Have you seen her? Your kids are going to want you. When they love you, they want you. Your kids make you feel important. They make me feel important. They make me feel respected because... I'm mom, and I love hearing when I pick up my two-year-old out of her class, that's my mom, that's my mom. When I tell you she pushes and mushes kids out the way to get to me at the door, it's so funny, and it's very cute. Um, So I like picking her up first because she really makes me feel like, oh, it is me she wants. (laughs) Um, She does it for her dad, too, and I think it's really cute when she does it. Today, she kept asking for him. I'm just like, he's not here. But she thinks every um, light-skinned black man is her dad. And I just can't wait for the day where she sees him and starts to know, like, his features and be like, oh, you're not my dad. You know what I'm saying? It'll come. Um, My kids make me feel cared for. Like, if I hurt myself or I have a scratch, they really want to know what happened. They really want to know if it hurts. When I tell, like, my five-year-old to walk on my back if my back is, like, sore, she really wants to know if she's hurting me. If I tell her to um, part my hair or oil my hair, the back of my hair, um, because I like the fact that she she has little fingers and she can do it better than I can. She'll tell me if she heard me with the comb, and I think it's so cute. Um, my kids also make me feel appreciated because in life, I think adults appreciate you, but they're not very vocal about when they appreciate you. Kids are instantly vocal. Like, I love when I give my two year old something, and she'd be like, Thank you, mom. Thank you very much. Um, and then today I took my nephew to the barber shop and she was with me and she was like, mom, she's like, you want a hug? I'm just like, how do, how do you think about this so randomly? I didn't really want a hug, but because she said it, like she said it, I said, yes. I said, I want a hug. So she hugged me. She's like, I love you. And I'm just like, oh my God, like her 
her brain is really clicking. Like she's really putting two and two together. And it's the most amazing thing to hear. It's the most amazing thing to watch. And I love it. And they also make me feel like thought about. A lot of people may think about you and not call you or not come see you or just text you or just type up something on Facebook and be like, oh, I checked in on her. But your kids, when they want you, they'll come in your room and be like, mom, what are you doing? Or mom, what you got? Um, or if you're lying down, uh, on your asking, you don't feel good? You okay? You want me to bring you some water? Or she'll tell Ari, don't go in there. She's lying down. Shh. And I think it's really cute because they're showing a bit um, more compassion as they get older. And that's very important for kids to develop. The younger, the better. And those are just some of the small things that my kids make me feel in a major way. And if you do not have kids, you're going to love all these feels and more. And if you have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So those are um, some ways um, and some times in my life where when you're not feeling a certain way from somewhere else or from someone else, your kids will definitely give you that feeling. I love them. They get on my nerves. They live on my nerves. They jump on my nerves. They dance on my nerves. But I love them. Bye. Bye.